Hi there, I'm John, welcome to The Gun Shop, and today we're going to look at how to take one of these apart to clean the major components of the action, for when you really need to get inside your helix and give it a good clean. I'm going to start by taking the stock off. To do that, on an Alpinist version at least, you do need to remove this. After that, you get your stock tool uh, and put it in the lubricated hole. Don't forget to lubricate the hole. With your stock tool firmly in the hole, unwind her, until you feel the bolt riding over the end of the thread. And the stock will simply pull off, just like that. What you do, you take this, just put it to one side. Next, what you're going to do, is pull your bolt head back and pull your barrel off. What you're really doing here is minimizing your working components. So now we've got our main action component, what you need is a punch and a light hammer. And what you're going to do is on a soft back is knock both of these pins out. These pins retain your whole trigger group. Always remember put your small items somewhere fairly safe because you'll be amazed how much they cost. What we want you to do is holding your trigger group in, push your bolt handle forward, and once that's forward the trigger group will come out really very, very simply. And here you'll see your battering ram hammer all in place. You can actually then see inside your action. You can see your cocking arm in there and everything, your mainspring. And it's all very delightfully engineered. There's very little you could do. Your whole gearing system on the side here. Um, and you can sit for hours feeling rather confused about the whole situation. Right, again, if this needs a clean, clean this out and put it to one side. Then what we're going to look to do is we're going to pull this bolt arm all the way back. Now your actual bolt arm will disconnect from your bolt head. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove the bolt. The bolt comes out thus. If you pull the whole arm out to about halfway, put your hand in and actually tip the bolt forward, the whole thing will rock out and allow you to take this apart. Uh, this is actually relatively easy to strip, and I say relatively easy, uh, if you've got a little while to put it back together. Uh, the answer with this is something like the uh, Polymer Safe Tetra Action Blaster. We'll get in every nook and cranny you could actually want on this bolt, and we'll save you stripping it down. Clean it, put it to one side. The final component we're going to remove is this arm here. And this arm, what you're going to need is a lump of hardwood, with a fairly flat and thin end and a hammer once again. What you're going to do, you're going to put it up against this, this little polymer arm here. And you're just going to give a little tap in the middle. And it will, with fair ease, pop out. And this will pop out. Uh, it can get a bit jammed and a bit stuck, but it's really quite hard to break this but it's not impossible, so again, just be careful. Clean that, put it to one side. Now this bolt handle will just push forward, rock to the side, and pull out. And again, like we've done with everything else, clean it, make sure it's nice and grip free, and put it to one side. This will allow now you to clean the major components of the action. What you can do if you really want, is you can take this pin out and actually take your whole cocking assembly out, but we're not going to go into that today because actually that starts to get a bit complicated. Make sure it's clean, make sure it's dirt free, and we'll go to put it back together. Very much a reverse process of what we've just done. Bolt handle goes in and twists around into place. What we want to do is make sure it's actually located in its channel so it can move in the way that it's designed. What we want to do is get our arm, you'll notice there's a big flat top with this thin flange down the side and that locates in here. So what you want to do 
You take your angled end and you push that under the bolt, just so. Everything is much harder for camera, obviously. Once one end is located, and you can just give a little tap with the back of a plastic mallet, is actually bend through the middle with your thumb, the head of this plastic back into this little notch here. As you can see, you now have this sort of curved arc with both ends properly located. Bit of hardwood back, back in the middle, and give her a little tap. And just give that a few cycles to make sure she's all okay. But generally speaking, if it looks good, it is good. This plastic is replaceable by the way, so if you do absolutely cock it up, it's not the most expensive part. Then quite simply, the bolt goes back in the way it came out. Tail end in first, and it will fall straight into its hole. What you then want to do is push it forward, so you actually seat the bolt head, and then, oh, there we go. And it should, without force, sit, and you can watch it cycle and rotate into place. Make sure that is at its maximum forward position, and then push the bolt handle into its maximum forward position to bear. Well, what we need to do is take our arm here, push that back, and make sure when you push the back of the mainspring cocky arm here, that actually you're in a cocked position. Uh, just a quick one on how this actually works now is you see this little bridge here, that bridge connects with this arm and as you push your safety catch up that actually pushes this arm forward, Not, don't pull the trigger at the same time obviously, cocking the gun. So that's actually your main spring pressure is bared by this to that to the safety catch. Just a quick one for you. So what's crucial at this last stage is A, the gun is decocked, B, the slide, the bolt and this are all in the most forward position and, and lastly is that this cocking arm is flush with the wall. If you have it slightly tipped in, you might start to find it a bit of an issue. If all these things aren't right, firstly, this won't go in properly and if you do get it in properly, it's also the bolt could be out of time with the bolt head, you'll end up with a gun that doesn't operate the way it should. So, all those things being fair, the gun should Slot in just like that. And once that's in, take your two roll pins, there's a chamfered end and a flat end, chamfered end in first. Put those in there, just like that. Happy days. She's nice and flush. And just give her a little seat before finishing her off with the drift. Always beware that this gun is expensive and as such is pretty hard but is also very well engineered so don't go the old um, big hammer and chainsaw route. What you then need to do, pop the gun Just make sure she operates back and forth a few times, and then, once it's in the forward position, double check that your bolt carrier and bolt has no movement in it in the locked position. And if you've done that, she's absolutely right. Cock it and decock it a couple of times, and generally speaking, you've done a good job. 